I don't want to alarm anybody, but there are drones. Not those drones. There are drones all over the ocean and their sailboats. How cool is this? The drone sightings all over New Jersey are a pretty big buzz right now, but did you know we have drones in the sea and they're sailboats. This is pretty amazing. Unmanned sailing vessels plying the world's ocean doing all kinds of cool stuff. One of the major players here is a company called Sail Drone. Sail Drone Incorporated is a United States based company in Alameda, California that designs, manufactures and operates a fleet of unmanned or unscrewed surface vehicles, USVs, or ocean drones, known as sail drones and sort of the public eye. The company was founded by engineer Richard Jenkins back in 2012. Sail drone customers and research partners include a lot of different people, various departments of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA as we know them, also NASA, a bunch of universities, the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia, European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts and Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, and others including the US military and law enforcement. That's right, cop drones. Not seriously cop drones, but they are using a lot of this technology. Sail drone themselves have three models that they make, the Explorer, the Voyager, and the Surveyor. The Sail Drone Explorer is the baby, 23 feet long, and it can sail an average of about three knots, depending on the wind. And it can stay at sea for up to 365 days. The Explorer is designed for fishery missions and sort of data collection and ocean mapping, ecosystem monitoring and satellite calibration and validation missions. The next one up is Sail Drone Voyager. This is a 33 foot USV with primary wind power, but also auxiliary power propulsion from a four kilowatt electric motor for a whole wide variety of different missions, including ocean mapping, border patrol, maritime domain awareness. These ones average a speed of about five knots. And then there's the big daddy, the surveyor at 72 feet long, weighing 14 tons. It's the largest one in the sail drone fleet. According to Wired, a surveyor was first launched in January 2021 and is designed to carry multi-beam echo sounders to map the ocean floor. It can map depths up to 23,000 feet. It also carries an acoustic dropler current profiler to measure the speed and direction of ocean currents. These unmanned or unscrewed vehicles are packed with all kinds of tech too. Not only can they sail along autonomously, but they can be remote controlled. They have their own weather station, their own radar, cameras, sonar, and of course, AIS. They have advanced vehicle detection too, so they can see all the other boats around them and not only to maneuver around them, but also to identify those other boats. They use this tech in law enforcement to find smugglers and other would-be illegal activity on the ocean. The Navy's using this, the Coast Guard, all kinds of coastal law enforcement agencies. The drones have submarine detection and have been used to detect underwater mines. But it's not all scary stuff. They use these for weather and water temperature to detect current flow in different parts of the ocean and monitor salinity in the water systems. They know the barometric pressure and wave height and period. They watch humidity and radiation. They can be used to find lost ships where the water's too dangerous. And the machines themselves, outside of all those sensors and cameras, are pretty impressive too. Most of them stay at sea for up to a year. They travel along under sail at around eight knots for the big ones, and they'll cover 16,000 nautical miles, just collecting data the whole time. The data they collect is actually saving people a lot of money too. A fully equipped research vessel out collecting data is about $30,000 for a day worth of data, but the same data for a whole day can be had from a sail drone for just 2,500. And no one's put in harm's way. There's no one to rescue if the thing goes wrong, which as we know, happens a lot in the ocean. In January, 2019, a consortium of different organizations launched an autonomous circumnavigation of Antarctica 
using a group of sail drones. Bloomberg Businessweek reported that on August 3rd, 2019, one of the drones called SD-1020 became the first autonomous vehicle to circumnavigate Antarctica, having spent 196 days in the Southern Ocean sailing 13,670 miles. During the mission, SD-1020 had to survive freezing temperatures, 50-foot waves, 80-mile-an-hour winds, and collisions with giant icebergs. In partnership with NOAA, Sail Drone deployed five vehicles equipped with hurricane wings to the tropical Atlantic Ocean to study air-sea heat exchange to better understand hurricane rapid intensification during the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. On September 30th, 2021, SD-1045 became the first Sail Drone Explorer to sail into a Category 4 hurricane. It collected ocean data and video from inside Hurricane Sam, where the sea state included 50-foot waves and wind speeds reaching well over 120 miles an hour. NOAA now deploys sail drones every year. There is some awesome footage too. The world record for highest wind measured in a hurricane was a sail drone that went right into that eye of Hurricane Sam, clocking 109.83 knots of wind speed. They sail these things right into everything because they have cameras, we get to see the footage from inside the hurricanes. This is terrifying stuff for any sailor, but a sail drone can go in, collect massive amounts of data, and then sail out all by itself. They use these to map the ocean floor too. They have multi-beam sonar out there mapping the ocean right now, looking at shipwrecks and underwater data transmission lines and other infrastructure that we have out there like oil rigs and wind turbines. The Navy and law enforcement are using them because along with AIS, they see other boats and take pictures, logging location and speed and direction of travel. They're painting a picture of the vast ocean space that we couldn't otherwise explore. But it's not without controversy. Because these drones are unmanned and slow moving, no one is there to defend them should someone want to approach them. In one news story, allegedly Iran tried to drone nap one of these things as they sailed by. They approached and they tried to take them in tow. They failed, but the sail drone CEO said, it's incredibly valuable as an experience to truly understand what happens in the field with real adversaries, whether it's an actual country or whether it's a hurricane or a physical adversary, you have to experience it to understand its features. And if someone takes it, good luck, keep it, it's worthless. We've got hundreds of them, he said. U.S. Navy officials on this whole Iran thing said sail drones are unarmed taking unclassified photos of the environment when the Iranians approached and that the drones didn't possess anything of value on board. And that's actually a feature, not a bug. You have to plan ahead so there's no classified information, no security breach, intellectual property leak that the person who stole it could glean from obtaining the vessel. A Navy official said, I think it'd be a very different problem if you had a lot of vertical launch systems or other hardware on board. I think as soon as you weaponize unmanned systems, you actually make it a target of theft. If a drone is stolen or destroyed, Jenkins, the CEO, said his company simply deploys another one to replace it. And the company has plans to start producing their 65-foot surveyor in greater quantities later this year. In August, the California-based company announced plans to partner with Alabama-based shipbuilder Austral to mass produce the USVs with a number of them already tagged for the US Navy. US Naval Forces Central Command, NAVSENT, began operationally testing a new unmanned surface vehicle as part of an initiative to integrate new unmanned systems and artificial intelligence into the US Fifth Fleet operations. NAVSENT commenced exercise Digital Horizon while launching a sail drone explorer USV into the water for the first time from Royal Jordanian Naval Base in Jordan. US and Jordanian naval leaders announced the base would become a joint hub for sail drone operations in the Red Sea. This is all wild and I think it's super cool that these are sailboats. I wonder how long it'll take before AI is in our chart plotters using our wind instruments and electric winches to simply sail our boats for us from point A to point B. We've come a long way from the sloppy autopilot that I have that can't seem to hold a line on the upwind to save its life. What do you guys think? Is this scary or is it pretty cool? I'd love to hear from you in the comments and while you're here, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe to see more from Practical Sailor.